Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today we're making homemade soft pretzels, half plain and half filled with Nutella. This recipe comes from the food blog Half Baked Harvest. I actually saw her video tutorial on her Instagram, so you definitely have to go follow her. I'll link to her below, Half Baked Harvest. So I made these pretzels for the Super Bowl and I used her spinach artichoke dip stuffed soft pretzels. They were phenomenal. So I wanted to make that dough again as just a little weekend snack, but today I'm gonna do half plain for my kids and then the other half I'm gonna fill with some chocolate hazelnut spread, also known as Nutella. I'm starting at my KitchenAid stand mixer here and I have my dough hook attachment on it and I'm gonna mix some water, my yeast, and some brown sugar together. So I have one and a half cups of warm water and basically it's kind of like drawing a bath for a little baby. You don't want it to be too hot or too cold because either way they'll be uncomfortable. So it's kind of right in the middle. So you don't wanna kill the yeast by having the water too hot, but you wanna activate it with nice warm water. And this is about two and a quarter teaspoons worth of active dry yeast. Usually it comes in a little package. That's how much is in there. And then to feed the yeast, we have two tablespoons of light brown sugar. So that's all in my mixing bowl here. I'm just gonna lock it in place and turn it on low just to incorporate that all together. And then we'll let it sit and the yeast is gonna activate. I mix the yeast, water, and brown sugar together just for about 30 seconds, and then I let it sit for about five minutes, and you can see it gets nice and kind of foamy and frothy on top. That's exactly what you're looking for. That means your yeast is activated, and it's gonna make your dough rise really nicely. So to this, we're gonna add, let me grab my ingredients over here. We're gonna add four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So we'll kind of shake that in carefully. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and then one stick, which is a half a cup of melted, unsalted butter. I'm gonna lock my mixer and then start to mix it together on very low speed until the flour has kind of been incorporated, and then we'll turn the speed up to medium. Okay, so now I'm gonna increase my speed to about medium and let this work for about three or four minutes and it should pull away from the sides of the mixing bowl to kind of come together into a nice dough. Now, if it still looks too wet, we can always add a little bit more flour in, like about a tablespoon at a time, so that the dough really comes together. And it's gonna be super soft and supple. It is so nice to work with. So my dough is finished mixing for about four minutes or so, and it started to pull away from the sides of the mixing bowl. It's really interesting, the science behind creating a dough like this, because today it's about 60 degrees out, so there's a lot more humidity in the air, and I ended up having to add an additional half cup of flour to this dough, which I did not have to do the last time I made them, which was just a few weeks ago, and it was way colder out. So the weather definitely affects how you're making a dough like this, but basically I wanted to show you that close up of it pulling away from the sides of the bowl so that you can see the consistency that you're going for. So just keep adding a little bit of flour, about a tablespoon at a time, until you get this desired consistency. Also, it shouldn't be sticking to your fingers. It's nice and soft and not too sticky. So now I'm just gonna remove this dough from the dough hook and I'm gonna pour in just a little bit of olive oil into my mixing bowl, kind of swirl it around and then coat this ball of dough on both sides. And then we're gonna let it rest and rise for about an hour. The dough's been rising for a little over an hour, and you can see it's doubled in size. It looks beautiful. So the last time that I made these pretzels, I didn't even have to flour my work surface. So I'm gonna bank on that again here and just roll my dough out onto the counter. Ooh, it feels so nice. I'm just using my bench scraper here, or you could use a knife to divide the dough into eight equal parts. And then we're gonna roll each of these into a ball. 
and then roll it out and make our pretzels. So I'm just rolling my dough out into kind of an oblong shape here. It's gonna end up being about a foot long, give or take. Now these are the plain pretzels to start. So I'm gonna roll this up into a little rope. And it's kind of like working with Play-Doh. You know, we're making like a little snake here. And I'm just gonna use my hands working from the center out to roll this into a kind of a long skinny rope. And then I'll show you how to fold it into a pretzel shape. So I have my nice long rope here. What I'm gonna do is cross the right side over the left once, and then the new right side goes over the left again. And as we do that, we just pick it up and flip it underneath. So then we've got that quintessential pretzel shape. And you can just kind of press down the little tails here so that they adhere. So for the Nutella filled pretzels, I rolled my dough out again in this oblong shape. And I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon of my chocolate hazelnut spread here. You don't wanna use too much or else it'll seep out the sides. And I'll just carefully spread that all the way down the middle. Trying not to lick the spoon as we do this because I have more to make. And then just like before, we're gonna roll this up into a little rope shape and kind of pinch the edges together and then just carefully roll it a little bit more. This is why we don't want too much Nutella. You don't want it to come out the sides or the ends, I should say. And then we'll form our pretzel shape. So right over left, right over left, and then we'll flip it and stick the little tails. So I'm heating up a whole pot of water on my stove, bringing it to a boil, and then I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of baking soda. And this is what's gonna give the exterior of my pretzels that golden color and kind of that quintessential sort of chewy crispiness on the outside. So I've seen multiple variations on the Half Baked Harvest website. Sometimes you add two thirds of a cup of baking soda and other recipes only calls for a couple of tablespoons. So that's something I have yet to experiment with, but this is the way I made them the first time and they came out awesome. So we're gonna try that again today. So just do this slowly, because you can see it kind of bubbles up as you add that baking soda in. We'll just do a little bit at a time. Okay, so just in case any Nutella leaks out of those pretzels, I'm gonna start with the plain pretzels first. So I'm gonna boil them two at a time, just for about 30 seconds. And I have my little kitchen spider here, which is so handy to have. And then we're just gonna scoop them out and put them onto this parchment lined cookie sheet. So what you can do is use a spoon to kind of gently spoon the water over the tops, just so that both sides are getting that baking soda water back. Now, just to clarify, this baking soda water isn't gonna turn them brown as it's boiling, but it is what's gonna turn them a nice golden brown when they bake. So they don't look like much now, but they're gonna get beautiful once they're baked in the oven. So the last step before we bake them is I took one egg with a, like a teaspoon of water and I blended it together, I whisked it together, and then I'm just using my little silicone pastry brush here to spread the egg wash all over the top of each of the pretzels. So this will make them nice and shiny and help with that golden color as well. And I'm gonna grab my kosher salt, and on these plain pretzels, this will help the kosher salt stick. These pretzels are gonna bake at 425 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes. So my oven's already preheated, and since I have two trays, I'm gonna be using both racks in my oven. I'll probably switch them about halfway through just so they cook evenly. These pretzels came out so beautifully. Mine baked for about 16 minutes at 425 and I allowed them to cool. To be honest, I kind of ran out of time today so I didn't brush them with extra butter, although I'm sure that would put them over the top, but they smell amazing. So now I'm gonna give them a try. So first I'm gonna start with the classic plain soft pretzel. Mmm. Got a little bit of a crunch on the outside and then super chewy on the inside. Honestly, it tastes like an Auntie Anne's. It's so good. I love those. They're pretzels you get at the mall if you've never had one before, but they're so delicious. And these, of course, are even better because I made them myself. 
Okay, so next is the Nutella pretzel. I really, really like the classic one, so we'll see how this one stacks up. Oh, I got a good bite. <laughs> that was oozing with Nutella. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. Wow. Okay. I forgot to put salt on the Nutella ones, and I think it would be even better with a little bit of that kosher salt on top, just to give it sort of that sweet and salty edge. But these are still really delicious. I highly recommend you try them out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe. For the full recipe, check the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.